This is a short review of the Disk Internals VMFS Recovery software. VMFS Recovery allows you to read and recover files from the VMware virtual environment or from VMDK files in VMFS formatted, damaged, or deleted disks. You can also retrieve information from a VMware ESX server in online mode. The important thing you should know. When the scan is completed, you are welcome to preview your files for free, including your documents, spreadsheets, databases, video, pictures, music, or anything else to ensure that recovery is possible. To connect to a running ESX or ESXi server over the network, the server must have SSH connectivity activated. To establish an SSH connection as a client in the VMFS recovery, click on Drives Connect to Remote SSH. Use your login and password to enter. Choose the drive that keeps the data store you will need. Click on the mount button. The data store is added to the list and now you can open the VMFS volume. Click the right mouse button and open as an eraser. Searching for lost files and analyzing file structures can take a while, so be patient. When the VMFS disk is found, mount the VMDK file as a disk image and open it to preview content. Just select the VMDK file you need. Click the right mouse button and select Expert Mount as Disk. Select Disks from the Guest Operating System and click on the Mount button. New Storage and NTFS Volume will appear in the hard drive. Open the NTFS disk with the Guest Operating System's data as Reader. Preview the content of any data for which you need to check its integrity. To restore files, select them and click on the red cross named Recover. In Recovery Options, choose the Output folder and check the list of recovered files. Great news! You now have the best chances to get your files back with Disk Internal's VMFS Recovery. Open the VMFS volumes. Run through folders and files to preview its data integrity. Choose a VMDK file. Click the right mouse button and select Recover. In the Export Wizard window, select Save Files and click the Next button. Choose the Output folder and click the Next button. Check the list of recovered files and click the Next button. The file recovery process may take a while, so please be patient. When your files are recovered, you can see them by clicking on the location below. Thank you for watching. Please like and share this video.